What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh and you're watching Paper Talk. Monday morning, bright and early, we are up to see what is making the headlines in the back pages of the most fraudulent publications available to man. We buy them so that you don't have to. Today we are going to be dealing with the Telegraph, the Star, the Mirror, the Express, the Guardian and the Daily Mail. Hope you're all doing well. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're new and drop the video a damn like if you're enjoying the series. Without any further ado, let's get straight down to business because we have got breaking news for this. And the main story is of course that Manchester United have crashed out of the Europa League and the hands of the Europa League specialist Sevilla getting the job done, coming back from behind and leaving more Manchester misery. Maguire's anger as United follow City out of Europe and Bruno Fernandes and Victor Lindelof having a verbal disagreement that was clearly visible to everyone that was watching on TV. Reds Luke runs out. That's awful, isn't it? Ole says United must learn lessons after De Jong's KO. So many opportunities that they had to put it to bed. Martial will be ruining those one-on-ones. Rashford had an absolute nightmare. And you've got to say that things are not all well at Manchester United, especially when you consider that Jose Mourinho took them to second in the table and won two trophies at the same time. It's Mexit squabbling United out of Europe to complete a dreadful weekend for two Manchester Giants. And Manchester City coming in for a bit of stick as well up here with Kevin De Bruyne saying, don't blame Raheem, insisting that Raheem Sterling should not carry the can for Manchester City's latest Champions League exit. He scored 31 goals in all competitions this season, Raheem Sterling, but he will be ruining that miss from five yards out. Absolutely open goal. And Manchester City once more have fallen short of the expectations of fans and pundits alike. It's all gone de Jong, says the Daily Star. Sevilla 2, Manchester United 1, with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer warning his young Manchester United stars that they must learn after claiming inexperience cost them the Europa League dream. And again, we have uh, Kevin De Bruyne down here in the Star asking fans not to blame Raheem Sterling. He says, we still had seven or eight minutes uh, to turn the tide after the chance and I don't blame him it's just what happens in football and we move on to the telegraph you say red mist United players turn on each other after another semi-final defeat and right down here at the bottom an interesting piece about Pep Guardiola opening talks over a new contract at Manchester City it says he flew back to Lisbon yesterday with Man City expected to begin talks over his future after a crushing Champions League defeat uh, I have had it on good faith that should that contractual negotiation not go well for Manchester City, they are lining up Mauricio Pochettino as a second choice. Manchester United, the main headline in all the papers, obviously today. The biggest club, really, in the country. Uh, falling short yet again and questions being asked of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, is he the right man for the job? And the Guardian going with Luke de Jong's heroics for Sevilla as well. United defeat takes British out of Europe as de Jong's goal for Sevilla seals the win over wasteful opponents in the Europa League quarter-final and ends home team's interest in this season's UEFA club competition so that's it we're done in Europe the season is officially over now for the Premier League clubs and our focus turns to the future where now for City says David Heitner with Guardiola the subject of a conversation about whether or not he is a failure Heitner saying Guardiola is not a failure but European loss is great and it is of course many a year since he won the Champions League with Barcelona and he has failed to replicate that with any team since Will Manchester City get him to sign a new contract and can he get that one over the line or is it just not meant to be? And Pep Guardiola's Manchester City also making the inside of the Daily Star here with two pieces. Now the first thing, it's Manchester City tinkering Pep, the fool guy yet again. Uh, if the definition of insanity is repeatedly doing the same thing and expecting a different result, which it isn't, that's not a de definition. I don't know why people have made that up, uh, but it does say. Uh, then Pep Guardiola is stark raving bonkers because he appears to be doing the same thing over and over again, doesn't he? Uh, tinkering unnecessarily 
with this uh, irresistible urge to strive for perfection where he's left sifting through the wreckage of another Champions League car crash. He's got a lot of problems on his hands as well. Sergio Aguero is on his way out. David Silva has left already. Vincent Company has left a massive gap. And Fernandinho will be on his last legs any minute now. What are they going to do with the likes of Otamendi and John Stones? Well, John Stones, the Daily Star report, is in Frank Lampard's plans. And Chelsea are ready to make a move for John Stones. Even if they sign a £40 million Brighton defender Lewis Dunk. Frank Lampard very keen to shore up the back line, conceded 54 goals last season, which is the most in the top half of the table, and they are looking at the 26-year-old former Everton defender as a possible incoming. They also go on to talk about Dunk, who is 28 years old, valued at £40 million by Brighton, who are incidentally desperate not to lose him. And people at the club, Chelsea that is, see this signing as very similar, in effect, to Gary Cahill, who signed from Bolton in 2012 and went on to win every major club honour with the Blues, including the Champions League. Now, I don't know whether to believe any of this, but Manchester City have been linked with none other than Lionel Messi. The 33-year-old apparently wants to leave Barcelona immediately, and Manchester City are being touted as the favourites uh, to sign him. Wouldn't that be quite something? Now, I don't know whether to believe any of this, but uh, Lionel Messi has been linked with a move away from Barcelona. Reportedly, he's had enough of the hierarchy, uh, he doesn't see a way out, and he'd like to leave the club immediately, not next transfer window, not next season, now. I don't know whether there's any truth to this whatsoever, but the 33-year-old is being linked to Manchester City and, of course, PSG. Who else can pay his wages? Arsenal transfer news now, and 22-year-old Brazilian centre-back Gabriel Magalhaes looks like he's got the choice between Arsenal and Napoli. Uh, who are trying to sell Koulibaly before they reinvest the money in another centre-back and would have first dibs on the player having done business with Lille earlier on with Osimne making a move for 38 million uh, euros. I think that this could get done and Arteta does look keen. Uh, the Lille president coming out and saying we've explained to him and his agent what we're looking for and once we get those offers the choice is his. We are there now. He knows the decision is his now and he will be a success wherever he goes. Arsenal also the subject of a Darren Lewis uh, article saying success is in Arteta's hands as the Arsenal chief reveals the Gunners new blueprint for success with more power for Arteta and more openness for fans. So are we going to see some transparency? Are we going to see Mikel Arteta being backed in the market and having the power to make the decisions as to who he gets on board? The Daily Express also talking about the new responsibilities that Mikel Arteta and Edu are going to have at Arsenal. It does look like it's all changed at Arsenal now that Raul Sanyehi has been let go, uh, I'm sure that we won't find out the truth about exactly what's been going on there for quite some time, if ever. There is undoubtedly some dodgy stuff that's been going on that will put the club into disrepute. And as a result, they're sweeping it under the carpet, make no mistake about that. But Mikel and Edu put in control and we are going to see what impact that has in the coming window and season. There's some more on Barcelona here who may well be sacking Kike Setien today. And of course, Josep Bartomeu is under pressure to follow his manager out of the club as Lionel Messi threatens to leave. Imagine if he was to go to Manchester City. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as we go through the rest of the headlines. The Telegraph are saying that Inter Milan are very keen on Manchester United's Chris Smalling, 30 years old, and they are apparently willing to to match the £20 million asking price. I don't know what Manchester United fans feel about this, but I've got a feeling it could be your best centre-back. OK, this is promising. Arsenal have agreed terms with captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang over a new contract. And are closing in on the signing of Brazilian defender Gabriel Magalhaes. That's from the Telegraph as well. This is kind of crazy, but not that surprising. In that Barcelona are willing to listen to offers for Antoine Griezmann only a year after he arrived from Atletico Madrid for £107 million. That one really hasn't worked out, has it? And Juventus apparently keen on Alexandre Lacazette and willing to match the £45 million valuation for the French striker. 
Would you take the money or do you think that Lacazette is integral to what Arsenal do? Bayern Munich's Thiago Alcantara has apparently agreed a four year deal with Liverpool but Bayern Munich are asking for £30 million. Pounds. I'm not sure whether Liverpool want to pay that. I mean they should, he's worth that really isn't he? And that's about it for today. I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, do me the honour of smashing the hell out of the like button, subscribing to the channel if you're new and turning your bell notifications on unless you're a massive bell end. Uh, for now though, I've been Hugh Wizzy and this has been Paper Talk. Peace.